Hey everybody, how you doing today? We are back here with another episode of the Let's Play. It just it left off last episode with uh, the Blaze Farm and having issues with it. Did some research, found out some game mechanics that are new since the last time I played. Ooh. Hey Wither, Skeleton, how you doing? Um, one being, oh sweet, you're stuck there. One which is, I would mentioned last time that that mob that there weren't a lot of blaze gathering that they were killing themselves off well i found out that there's the new mechanic the uh mob cramming mechanic or something like that that only allows a certain amount of mobs to be in a certain area um at a any certain block you know one area um before they start dying and it's like 32 entities or something like that so that is why I was getting that, and so that's good to know that there's that mechanic in the game now, which was not before. Before, you used to be able to just stack up as many as you want in the area and then come in one time and boom, and be done. So, we have to take that into consideration. I'm um, doing some research on it. I haven't quite decided how I want to do it yet, uh, but uh, we'll get there. We'll, we'll figure it out. So, we got one area done. So, the research I've done... Uh, based on the videos and stuff I've watched is you need to clear out oh I was gonna say something's firing oh there's two two more wither skeletons um gosh blaze everywhere but no oh, don't hit it um but you need to clear out from the not not from the spawner but from the spawning area around here um you need to clear out a 10 by 10 square in each direction and then seven down from the bottom. So that's what that is right there. The glowstone is the seventh block. So I've cleared that out. And this is these little things over here from the edge of the glass. Because the glass is not a spawnable space. So that counts as one of them. So one, two, all the way to ten. And I've cleared that out. Ten by ten square. Uh, seven down. They said it goes seven above spawning area. Um, which I'm not going to do right now. Maybe I'll do it in the future. But uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So... We have moved everything away from down there that we were gathering. It's now up here. And this is just our little temporary base. That's what we're going to use that for. It's just, oh, da, da, da. I'm just going to use that as a, oh gosh, I don't know what I want to do. I want to like go across here, but like, no, it's with her. Dang it. Please don't, please don't have me knock you off. Okay, good. Gosh, now this place is very like, not having that spawner, oh, I need to like spawn proof this area because I am getting so many spawns. It's un it's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> oh, dang it. So anyways, we are going to next. What we have to do down here is we have to now actually. I have to, I have to verify that I have this portion, right? The, the, um, the spawnable blocks for them to pathfind because that's the whole whole point of this farm is it's going based off the pathfinding algorithms that are are that the mobs use right so that they they find a solid block and they try to pathfind to it but then you trick them that with the trap doors and then they end up falling through so i have to extend this chamber down below the seven blocks for the gathering because that's where the base is going to be for the killing chamber and all that stuff so you got to extend it down there and i'm going to work on getting that done and then I'll update you. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I, I think it's just going to be something very basic like I had before. Um, I will design something out eventually, but I just want to get this working because once we get that one working fully, then we have this one to do still. This is the second spawner, so we have to go from here, right? We have to go 10 blocks that way. This, one, this is going to be crazy. 10 blocks this way. 10 blocks that way, which is also going to be crazy because this is like maybe not this way i think this way has yeah uh, still pretty solid but a lot of that then you got to go seven down from the spawning area right so the spawning area is right there so i have to go seven down from that which when you look at how much digging that is boom i may just say you know what i'm gonna do some skele uh, wither skeleton farming and try to get that third skull so i can get a beacon in here because gosh that would help so much so anyways we're going to keep building this thing out and that's we want to get this blaze spawner going and get things operational with the double blaze spawn because we also have to then once we get all this done 
we have to build out a big area um, for spawnable blocks where you have to essentially um, where you're where this corner is we have to build out a big just a big mass of, of blocks which kind of sucks that you have to dig them out and then put it back but <laughs> uh, so that they have a place to um, think that they can pathfind to so there's there's a bunch of pathfinding mechanics with this design which makes it kind of cool but it also makes it kind of a headache so anyways we will update you as we get going. So yeah, definitely uh, just got that. <laughs> Three withers and skulls and skulls. That means we can go fight a wither. Get a, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to like slab that up down there. <laughs> Man, you go, look at, I mean, they just, things love spawning down there. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. But things just love spawning down there. Have to do something about that. Um, but anyways, we got three three skulls, so that might just change the direction of what we plan on completing uh, <laughs> in this episode, or at least diverging us for a little bit of time, because I want to get that, um, I, I really want to get that beacon, and I think, I uh, don't know if I have enough iron yet either for a full beacon, so we may have to go do some caving to get some iron, because I do not have a iron golem farm yet, yet is the main word there. Um, one other thing that I didn't mention or didn't show was right next to the base um, on the overworld, there's actually a village about less than 100 blocks away. I don't know, maybe a little bit more than that, but really close. So I will be able to get villagers um, to be able to make an iron golem farm relatively easily. We all know how that goes, right? <laughs> so quotes around the relative and the easy part. But uh, so, yeah gonna go i think look up some guides i know you can i know nowadays people figured out how to block the wither skeletons to stay confined in a space so that they don't go anywhere and so you just kill them really easily so i'm gonna try to figure out how to do that and get myself a uh nether star so we can so we can get a beacon okay so here we go we're not doing it the way I wanted to because you have to be in the end to do it i have found out and it just i don't not in the end so we're just gonna do it here we're deep into a part of a cave by sort of by my base, but not really. Um, well, on my way down to my mining shaft and I dug probably about a hundred blocks or so. So we're, we got a couple potions here, healing, speed, swiftness, strength. I don't have regeneration because I didn't have an eye uh, guest here. So we are gonna go and try to get this thing done. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Could you imagine if I die here? Oh, geez, that would be bad. Okay, and then let's get the three skulls there. Okay, and then get the potions there. And let's do it. I think we start with the bow, if I remember correctly, and then we go to, uh, after we do the bow, then we go to a sword. So here we go, let's do it. Um, where's my sword? There it is. Whoa, that hurt. Let's get his tail. He's gonna keep backing up, getting his tail. And that's just how I, <laughs> this guy's me like kind of scared. Hope I'm far enough away. Get the bone carrot. Is he immune to the? Yeah, he's immune now. So we're just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just really scared. I don't want to die. You know what I mean? But I should have it. We got good gear. But that man, that first hit almost got me. Did you see that? <laughs> that first almost. That first hit almost got me. That took me down to about half health. A little bit more than half health. Luckily, I had some good gear. But now we got the. Another star, and we can have a dang beacon. Let's go get that iron. Let's do it. Beacon, beacon, beacon. Beacon. Uh, don't I, oh, I don't have the glass, really. <laughs> Out of all things, I don't have the glass, even though I have a double chest full of it over yonder, almost. 
So let's do that beacon. Okay, or not. Let's not type it. There we go. Beacon made. Now we need to figure out how many iron blocks and stuff we need for it. I know it's quite a bit. I got to figure it out. I only have 20 iron blocks. Nowhere near enough. Um, I think the bottom layer alone is like uh, 20 something iron blocks. So we have to get enough iron blocks to make that iron, uh, that pyramid for the nether star. So then we can, or nether star, the beacon. So we can have haste to beacon and just mine this out. And also that's going to help a ton in the nether to be able to uh, mine out that second place farm. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Let's do it. So now we are getting villagers. <laughs> We're going to need to get uh, three three villagers in total. We're going to make a villager uh, breeder because I will eventually want to, when I'm making Wakanda overall, I want to populate it and actually make it a village and, and have uh, villagers around and, you know, make it the whole works, make it an actual like city type thing, or at least a portion of it. So I do, I hope this will work. I'm not 100% sure on the mechanics, but we'll I'll figure it out if it needs to. Um, I'm going to take this workbench for this farmer and he's going to I'm going to see if using that workbench since he's locked onto it will will work. I'm not 100% sure. I captured this guy which from what I've read he's unemployed and same with this guy un is unemployed or some uh, there's another word for it. Um but that's these are the three villagers I, I have. So now I'm going to go to my nether. I'm going to build a portal that should come out somewhere over here so I can transfer them through the portal. Like I said, this isn't that far away. But when you think of it, eight times as many rails going overland compared to nether. Definitely going nether. So I'm going to work on getting these guys over there so that we can have a villager breeder to use on the iron golem farm because that's another thing i just realized i since i got the wither and the beacon and all that stuff i went mining and i mined about six stacks or so of iron six or seven stacks or so of iron and it was just taking forever and i was like you know what i know iron golem farm is going to take a while to make too um but let's just make a small simple one yeah see it's a little beacon uh Let's make a small little one so that we can at least have something that will work in here. So that's what I've done here. This is an iron golem farm. Uh, up there's the redstone fort. Here's where they spawn. I'll, I'll leave the video link in the description for the video I watched for this design. But it's very basic. It, it produces about 500 or so iron per hour. You know, I know there's rates out there that produce thousands of iron per hour. But I'm not looking to do that right now. I will eventually make one like that. So having a village breeder then too will be beneficial so but for now this is mainly just for like something basic something to kind of get enough iron you know after afk for a couple hours for a beacon and be able to get a little bit more to produce whenever i'm around and that's what the whole purpose and the whole goal for this iron golem farm is hopefully it works all right so we're gonna get those villagers over here and get it going so yeah i come walking over here I had this all set up. This was working. <laughs> I had, oh, dang it. Where'd the other one go now? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How, what are you guys doing? See, I had one, one to actually make it. This was a baby that was f b born, whatever you want to call it, right away. Gosh dang, I got this stupid slowness from these guys. Those are new mobs too. I had no clue what those guys did. I've seen them before, but there's one villager. He was in there. Why or how he got out, I don't know. So let's try to put him back in a minecart. See if we can <laughs> come back here, please. No, no. Go back on there. No, 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 no. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys are so much fun. That's the word I'm looking for. Fun. They're so much fun. There you go. All right, so I got one back in there. Now, the question is, where did the other one go? And even more than that, how did they get out? I don't understand how, I got, how they got out. I, I followed... Um, 
imp Impulse SV's tutorial on this. And they're supposed to go back into that if, even after they sleep. I don't, I don't get it. But now I have to find where the other one went. And I guess I have one. That's a good thing. I have one below from when they first bred. Maybe I'll just have to get him out. But gosh dang. That's too bad. That's too bad. Okay. Well, we're going to look for this other villager. Anyways, hey, this guy. I guess <laughs> this is what I was going to show you guys. I got a villager breeder, breeder set up and going. Um, so that I can then get some villagers for my iron farm. But. Obviously, there's a bug in it somewhere and i have to figure that out so if i find that guy or get it figured out i'll let you know well that's a good sign <laughs> we got them in there now i think they're good it's been two nights and i've let them stay i have a villager baby villager over at the base to grow up hopefully hopefully you can grow up in a minecart i'm testing it right now to see if it will work um just so we can transport them over there right away but the, it's been two nights. I slept one night. I didn't sleep the other night. And it looks like they're still there. I was assuming what was happening was... Because uh, it happened two more times. What I assumed happened was is the corners were empty blocks. And when they tried to get out of bed, they would glitch out of the corners. Or they'd glitch out of the bottom something. So I made sure everything except for those little spaces inside of there um, were filled. So all the corners are filled. Uh, there should be no areas for it to glitch out. And so hopefully now... We have a good villager breeding farm. Yes. So, got the iron golem farm running, but we have a bit of an issue. So, I've done some reading, done some research. I actually learned this, learned learned about iron golem farms and iron golems and how they spawn and something I didn't know before. So, I kept getting the spawns outside of of because the iron golem farm's inside here, right? So I kept getting spawns outside here. And so I was like, okay, well, they obviously are spawning outside here because it's a spawnable space. So, okay, let's make it an unspawnable space. So what I do, I have, I went through and I half slabbed, half slabbed around here, um, trying to say, okay, well, it, let's see if I can make it so it's not going to do that, right? So that make these unspawnable. So then it forces the spawn point for the iron golems to be in the iron golem farm, right? Cause it'd be the only spawnable space that I could find. Well, come to find out half slabs are still spawnable spaces for my, for iron golems. So I went through, like I said, half slabbed all this and nope, didn't work out. So the iron golem farm is roughly right, right down there. Um, in retrospect to how tall this is. So one thing I learned is from the place that the village is spotted, so which would be the bed, iron golems will spawn in a six by or a, a sixteen by sixteen box uh, area box around it, centered at that bed, and it's also six in the vertical, so six on the Y. So three up, three down on the Y, and then it would be centered at sixteen, so eight on each side, right? So. What I essentially have to do is is the beds, if we go down here, basically what, I, what I'm having to do here, because a lot of times when you see iron golem farms and stuff, right, they're built, you know, six blocks in the air or whatever. They're, they'll, they're built in the air, in the open with nothing around. So people don't generally run into this issue. Well, I decided I totally forgot about that part. Um, didn't know the mechanics well enough. And so obviously I built it in here and now I'm having issues with it. So what I essentially have to do is really I did not expect to see an iron golem ha in there <laughs> that, what the heck what the heck okay um, so anyways this is at Y70 um, I'm at Y73 which means these beds are at Y74 so what essentially I have to do is, is the village is expected to be at Y74 so I have to go out uh, eight in each way, eight in each direction, and uh, three up and three down. So from if that's at 74, go down to 70 and up to 70, uh, 77 and make all those spaces in that area non-spawnable except for these couple blocks over here. So I have to take out all those slabs that I just put in because I don't, I'm not going to have them if they're worthless. And then 
terraform it in such a way, I'm assuming glass, um, that those six levels on the Y are unspawnable for the golem. So that's what we're going to do. So I believe we got it going. Uh, as you can see, iron golems are coming. They're coming consistently in there. It's not like I was getting it before every once in a while, but this is being consistent. I haven't came outside in quite a while. Uh, I got a stack of iron um, and it, I haven't had to come outside to get any of it. So that's a good deal. So what I ended up having to do is last time I'd mentioned it was centered at six. So it was three on each way. That was wrong. It was centered on, uh, on 13. Uh, iron golems have a 16 by 16 by 13 up and down centered on the on the bed on the village on where it's trying to spawn uh so my calculation was a little wrong so i had to go in the vertical um plus or minus six so i, I started terraforming all of this because i my i didn't do i didn't actually like do the math and sit down and do it i was just like okay if we just take out enough land we'll, we'll eventually get there but then i was like this is ridiculous i'm making this look stupid so I actually went and just did the math and plotted out the coordinates where this is the one edge, that's the other edge, there's an edge over there, and then over here, it's just it's so tall that I don't even have to worry about it. So we've just put glass there for now, uh, gray glass, which looks good with the cobble, but I eventually want to get um, brown. I want to go get some cocoa seeds and and get this brown because if you if you actually like do brown on the grass it actually doesn't look that bad so that's how we're going to solve that issue we'll eventually get brown stained glass so the other thing i want to do though is sleep because my guy's tired from trying to do all this all this work for me uh, <laughs> but what i want to do here is um we should be able to yeah you can you can hear the iron, iron golem right he has a bit of an issue up there every once in a while <laughs> where he's like, I don't know if he's trying to go after. Yeah. He's, I don't, I, I don't know if he's trying to go after something or what happens, but he like takes a lot of damage up here before he even gets down to the bottom here, which is fine. Even if he died up there, the, the see, there he goes. Um, even if he died up there, the iron would still come down. So what I'm looking to do here now is I want to do a little bit of a filter system uh oh i thought i for sure thought that burning was a <laughs> was a creeper and i was like oh i'm dead thank you um but what i'm wanting to do here is i want to build a little filter for the uh poppy seed and the iron so that what i want i want to do is i want to get just the iron and then i want the poppy seeds to go off and go into um a uh composter to make bone meal <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm like where's my thoughts uh to make bone meal and you know i, I might eventually need red dye which I, I can just take out the composter and have it go just pass through if i want to but for now i want it to turn into bone meal so i'm gonna do that make a little filter system here to filter out the iron put the uh, poppy seed in a composter and get bone meal so now we have this thing filtering items. So as you can see here, this is just a little item filter coming in here with uh, use four signs because you could use iron, but it just takes up more iron and I'd rather have more iron exposed like at my fingertips than not. So we got 58 iron already going through here. No poppy seed, but we do have bone mill. So I added in, uh, like I said, I may have it at some point. I was saying I could just replace this composter with another hopper and let it just pass through. Uh, but what I decided to do instead actually was this lever. I just decided to use this lever. I put a, a chest here instead. So if at any point I, de I decide that it becomes necessary to keep the poppies, flip this on, it will stay in there. So the iron golems will now uh, die here. The iron will go down here. The poppy seeds will go over here and go into bone mill. So that's going to wrap this episode up. We got the iron golem farm down. Now we're going to AFK it, get our full beacon, and get some haste too. See you next time.